How's it going guys? This is Dr. Ryan Seth, Specific Chiropractic, providing Gonzaga Chiropractic NYC. So we've got a special guest here today, Chloe Sim. What will you do to help you today? Well, I'd like uh, to know if you can help me fix my leg. Okay. Chloe uh, Sim, what's going on with that? It's been hurting since eight years ago, but now it's starting getting worse. Uh -huh. Do you mind taking that other sock yeah, off sure. so the viewers can see? So we could clearly see there's something going on because we got this big bulge over here, right? Yeah. And we don't have that. Oh. oh, I'm sorry. That's very tender, huh? It's yeah. also kind of hot to the touch. All right. Okay. So you said it happened eight years ago. Yeah. How did it happen? I fell down the stairs. You fell down the stairs. Yes. Okay. And, and what I else? twist my leg. So after that, it happened. I'm going to start with instrumentation. I'm going to go ahead and take a look. Any signs of inflammation. Now, when a tissue gets damaged, especially the disc or what have you, the surrounding structures initiates that inflammatory process. And one of the telltale signs we're looking for is abnormal heat. And we also see this all kind of already, there's already heat around here. Even the skin itself, a little, it's reddish around here, just on the right hand side, which is correlated with the heat reading, what we find on here to have a little temperature. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look what's going on at this level. And we see over here, it's kind of swollen. Tender right there? Yeah. Yeah. Right there, huh? God, it's all swollen just right here. All right, let's see what's going on with that fella. Here's a star. I'm gonna show you what normal is supposed to look like. See that fella over there? Mm -hmm. That's a navicular bone. We're supposed to have it lining up with all these other bones. And with your right foot, see that? Yes. Yeah, and then we also see some of these bone, they look like bone islands or bone fragments or calcium deposits, but a lot of it, it's not the same compared to the other side. So in essence, what happened then is over here, okay, this area over here, it's, it's like you're losing calcium there. Now I popped that you, you still have the bony, you know, matrix of it there. You know, so we're talking about the outside the bone part supposed to be there, but on the inside of it, it's like all the calcium is leaving there. That's what okay. we see here, right? We're trying like a good, a good portion of it. Like a good like two, like two to three millimeters of that area. It's like all that calcium in that region is leaving that, that navicular bone over here. Now, based upon the fact that you fell down the stairs eight years ago, and it's been progressively getting worse, and it's hot, right? That leads to a conclusion of, this is a very strong suspect that you may have RSD, also known as complex regional pain syndrome. All okay. Right. So I'll tell you more in detail. We got two nerves going on. The main nerves are, as we see here, we're supposed to have nerves going from the from the brain all the way down to the foot. Right. Now that's feels a motor function. But at the same time, we also have what's called sympathetic and parasympathetic. Plain English, one runs like a gas pedal, makes everything work faster. And we have another one, the parasympathetic, acts like a brake, slows things down. Okay. All right? Now, what's going on in your foot right now, right? Something is telling it. It's okay. We've got to keep on riding the, the gas pedal, all right? At the same time, we've got to keep on riding the brakes. So in other words, you're having both running at the same time. It shouldn't be. It's no different from, let's say, you know, you're, you're touching a hot stove. And by reflex, you're like, ooh, it's hot. Right. But somehow on your body, in your nerve system, it's like a broken record. It's like touching it. Keeps on doing like this. All right? So we found a problem over here. Right on that fifth lumbar. And it actually, it's this key area because this is where the parasympathetic and sympathetic nerves, they start to, you know, start to like blend in a bit. Okay, it's that key area. So when you have a potential misalignment, we'll call it subluxation, that irritates the nerves. 
It may cause the sympathetic and sympathetic, I'm sorry, parasympathetic and sympathetic nerves to go a little haywire and nuts. So in essence, the body is trying to heal that area, right? And it's like, hey, what's going on over here? You know, this inflammatory process, we need to put out the fire, right? So, and then what it does is it starts introducing more blood supply in the area as it gets a little hotter, a little swelling. The problem is it's still trying to put out this forest fire and it can't. So what's the next strongest substance to cut out the fire? Calcium. So that's why calcium in that region of that bone is leaving that bone. Okay. And it's using like a fire extinguisher, try to put out the, that huge force fire you got in that foot over there, all right? So this is how, basically what you got is like the early stage of RSD, also known as complex regional pain syndrome, all right? right? So the answer is this, we actually have to address this. I'm not gonna adjust your foot at all. The more important reason why is because you don't have much too much calcium in the victor anymore. If anyone try to move that bone, there's a good chance it'll be fractured, right? We don't want that at all. Right? All right. So the real answer to this, no, we're gonna address this fellow over here. Remove that nerve interference out of the way, get the nerve start working again to that right foot, and then you're gonna tell me what's different about that foot afterwards. All right. All right, let's roll. Okay, well, walk around. <laughs> Actually, I don't feel the, the pain that I had it before. What pain? It, like in the lower part. It was like stabbing me, right. and after the crack over there, I don't feel it like no more. It feels different. Oh yeah. A little different. It's just a little bit different. Well, just a little bit. Way different. Well, how much improvement would you see in that right foot right now? Mm, I don't know. Like it's from zero to hundred percent. How would you characterize it? Maybe like 80, 75, something like that. 75, 80 percent? Yeah. Hey, that's great. Well, lay in your back. Let's take a look. Let's test again. How's it now? It's still hurting a little, but it was not like before. So how much, how much of the tenderness would you say is reduced? Let's say like 60 percent. 60 percent. That's good. Do you feel this? It, it's not as hot as before. It's still, you know, it's still, you know, warmer than the other else, but it's already cooled down a bit. Great. How do you like that fellow, huh? It, it felt good. As we saw earlier, you don't have too much calcium deposit in that navicular bone. So I don't want you to do any high impact activities. There was no running, jumping, or, you know, trying to land very hard on your feet, okay. so on and so forth because we want to reduce your risk of having a fracture that day, all right? Okay. It does need a couple months for the calcium to redeposit into that bone. So to speed up that process, what I recommend is make sure you have a lot of vitamin K, all right? So that you don't eat a lot of salads, things of that nature. And also I want you to eat a lot of natural calcium, right? I'm not talking about a calcium supplement. Calcium supplement usually comes from oyster and that calcium is already depleted, right? Okay. I'd rather have you consume natural calcium, which is, you can take a look, you can Google it up, that's calcium rich foods such as um, broccoli. Broccoli has one of the highest amount of natural calcium. Watermelon, you know, dark green leafy vegetables, so on and so forth. Eat a lot of that to build, to rebuild that calcium into that bone layer, all right? All right. I wanna take a look, see how that thing progressing. In the meantime, okay, do not put any heat or cold on it. The reason why is again, remember that your nerve system there on that foot is a little haywire, okay? It's still trying to do this. We calmed it down quite a bit, but it's still trying to do a little jerk reflex on that thing. So mm -hmm. if you put any heat or cold, it's gonna trigger it again, right? So don't do that. Okay. Same thing with the low back as well. Okay, don't go too nuts on it. What I recommend instead is you're gonna have a cool cloth. Okay, not too hot, not too cold either. I usually recommend a cold pack, but no. This time we're just gonna have a, a nice, Get a paper towel, soak in cold tap water, okay? And you're just gonna apply it there. 
for just like a couple minutes and then that's it. You're gonna do that three times a day. Just try to reduce some of the swelling down. Okay. That's all we're gonna do. I don't wanna have this thing be triggered again. All right? We'll see you next visit. All right, thank you so much. Oh, you're very welcome. <laughs> All right, so give us the latest update. How's everything coming along? It's getting better. Okay. Fill us in. What's going on with the right foot now? It still hurt, but it's less than the first time. Understood. So how much improvement would you say from previous visit to now? Uh, well, it's it might be like 20% of the less than the first time. But absolutely, I have less pain on my back. Hey, that's great. Excellent. Oh, this is healing pretty nicely. Uh, very small reading over there, right at that level. How's oh, that fellow right there? He hurts. Yeah, it's still not as fixated as before, but there's still some fixation in there. And this fifth one still needs to be corrected. All right. There it is. Okay, walk around. Have a seat. So, who was in? What's different about that right foot now? Well, like I said, it's. I don't know what you did, but you, you obviously like it takes a little the pain, like the pains that I always have on my foot. It, it goes like it goes away. Okay, so you said about eighty percent improvement. Mm -hmm. Or for sort of, how's it now? Let's say 5% more. So 85% improvement. Mm. Yeah, that's great. So we can still see through the viewers over here, you know, that's swelling. It is calming down a bit. So that's good over there. So that's a good progress right over there. And you still feel, it's, feel this over here? It's still warmer than the other areas. So this thing still, the nerve is still a little short circuited right now. So the story is this, what we did for you is, as we explained on the first visit, what we did was restore your nerve function so that your brain doesn't go haywire, right? Previously, and it's still doing a little bit today, which is your body was hitting the gas pedal and the brake pedal at the same time. Okay. Right? So in other words, you don't drive with both riding the gas and the brick same time, right? Right. That goes a, little, you know, goes a little bonkers. That's what your body was doing, all right? So we took the pressure off that nerve, reduced that nerve irritation, and that, and, and reduced that confusion. So it's not riding the gas and the brakes too much. It's still doing that somewhat, but not as intense. So now that things are starting to calm down, why don't you start doing this? Why don't you start? Now we're going to have you do a cold pack instead of a cold tap water. Now we're gonna start doing a cold pack, all right? Okay. So, but you have to wrap it with a cloth, but this time just do it only five to 10 minutes, all right? All right. If you start to feel your right foot flaring up, then discontinue immediately, all right? All right. Okay, well, I'm glad for the results so far. Okay, for the progress, let's take a look, see what's going on in the next visit, okay. all right? All right, thank you. Thank you, have a good one. All right, so give us the latest updates. Fill us in, how's that right foot doing? Well, it's getting better. Uh -huh. it, it, hurt. it still hurt, but I can stand like maybe right now for a long period, like than before. Well, to find a long period of time. Well, before was like maybe I can stay up like for four hours. Now I can stay up like for six hours. Six hours. Okay. That's a good improvement there. Mm -hmm. How is the overall improvement would you say in that right foot right now? Well, I still hurt maybe like 30% than before. Okay. All right, that's a good progress right there. All right, let's take a look, see what's going on. All right, we still got the reading over there. How's this feel right there? Well, I don't feel that like before. Yeah, but it's still stuck. We still need to address this. 
Let's roll. What up? Well, it feels good every time that you do that. <laughs> because, huh? like, it change. Uh -huh. the, the pain change. Good. No, that's what it takes because we just got to keep on working to restore the nerve function to that foot of yours. Right? How's the foot right now? It, well, right now it feels great. Good. All right. All right, champ. So don't be a stranger. All right. We'll see you in the next visit. Don't forget, keep on icing up your little back over there, and we'll see you next visit. All right.